What's a founder supposed to do after they finally start landing a few big clients? How do you keep that momentum going and really scale it up so you can grow your business without having to drive all the sales yourself? And how do you hire people and make sure your team is actually able to execute and grow your revenue without things breaking down? Do you wanna know what the secret to scale without all these frustrating headaches is? It's revenue operations, or for short, RevOps. It's about creating common chaos and making sure that your business doesn't just grow, but can actually execute and not drop the ball for all of your clients. In this process of scaling, RevOps becomes your secret weapon. In my last company, Order Solutions, we scaled from zero to 250 employees in just 24 months. And as the CEO, it felt like I was building an airplane while we were flying it. I had to figure out how to build systems and processes to scale and drive our revenue without me having to be constantly involved in everything. And that's when RevOps became our linchpin for growth. So how can you use RevOps in your own company, achieve more with less stress, and have the confidence that your team can actually execute without you having to be involved? Let's dive in. So let's break down what actually is RevOps and how does it work? RevOps is kind of like a director of a play, making sure that every actor, every scene, every prop is in perfect coordination. So RevOps ensures that your sales, your marketing, and your customer success teams are in sync so that you can maximize your revenue and not let things slip through the cracks. Number two, let's break down the difference between RevOps and sales enablement. Sales enablement is about giving your sales reps the tools, the training, and the resources to close deals, whereas RevOps, on the other hand, connects your entire revenue team, providing the resources to make sales, marketing, and your customer success team's lives easier so that they can execute. Number three, let's explain the difference between RevOps and your go-to-market strategy. Your go-to-market strategy is your plan on who your target market is, the channels you're gonna use to reach them, and what products or what services you're gonna sell those customers. And your RevOps department is then focused on executing that plan. Step four, when is it time to embrace RevOps? When you start noticing things are slipping through the cracks and clients are becoming frustrated, that's a great sign that now is the time to start building your RevOps team. And number five, how does your RevOps look in action once you have it? Imagine this, your marketing team launches a new campaign and before the first lead even comes in, your sales team is already prepared, your customer service team is ready to handle that influx of inquiries, they're trained on the new product or the new service you're launching. That's the power of RevOps. And lastly, number six, your RevOps metrics. So what does RevOps care about? Things like cost per acquisition, customer lifetime value, your net revenue retention rate, your win rate, and your daily sales activities. These are things that they'll look at and watch like a hawk because they view revenue growth as a science, not an art. So hopefully you found this helpful. And if you want more help, I have a free resource that can really help you. It's my RevOps cheat sheet, which you can get free instant access. Just click the link below or the link in my bio and you'll get free instant access.